Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be. In this upload we're going to look at a basic feature of Excel but it is a very important feature. That is the way that Excel handles the order of a formula and particularly how it handles brackets. The easiest way to remember the order of Excel handling a formula is by the anagram bodmass. First of all it looks for any brackets and handles what is inside the brackets. Then it looks for any numbers, the order, which have been raised to a power. Then it looks for any divisions, then any multiplications, and finally it looks for any additions or subtractions. So the easy way to remember that order is by bod mass. Let's see how it works. In these examples, in this particular arithmetic uh, formula there are no brackets, there are no numbers raised to a power, there are no divides, so we've got rid of the BOD. It then looks for any multiplies and it says are there any multiplications? Yes, 2 multiplied by 4 which is 8. Are there any additions? Yes, add 3, the answer is 11 because there are no subtractions. But what happens when we put brackets around the 3 plus 2? First of all, it will say, are there any brackets? Yes, 3 plus 2 is 5. It then says no numbers to be raised to a power. Then it says there are no divisions, but there is a multiply here. Multiply 5 by 4, the answer is 20, because there are no deductions. This one, it says, are there any brackets? The answer is no. Are there any ra numbers raised to a power? No. Are there any divisions? Yes. 3 divided by 1, which is 3. Are there any multiplications? Yes. 4 times 2, which is 8. Any additions? Yes. 8 plus 3, the answer is 11. Let's put brackets around the 2 plus the 3 and 1. Uh, 3 divided by 1, I'm sorry. So it looks for brackets first and it says, ah, I've got to do something within these brackets. 2 plus 3 divided by 1, which is 5. Multiply that answer by 4 and the answer overall is 20. Here is a formula which is using the Karat symbol. The Karat symbol which is achieved by holding down the shift key and pressing the number 6 on the number row at the top of the keyboard raises the number to a power. So Excel says, are there any brackets? Yes, I will handle what is inside the brackets first. Are there any orders, any numbers raised to a power? Yes. Here we see 2 raised to the power 2 which is 4, 2 squared 4, plus 3 divided by 1 which is 3, so the answer to those is 4 plus 3, which is 7, multiplied by 4, the answer is 28. So it simply looked at the brackets first, raised a number to a power, then it looked for the multiplies, then the divides, and uh, finally the adds and subtractions. So it gave me the answer 28. Let's look at an actual formula. Here we have the total of these numbers, which I simply did by using the sum function b3 to b8 inclusive. So what I want to do in this formula is to add the numbers in that column, which is 34, then to that add the number above, which is 4, divide by 2 and multiply by 6. So let's look at the steps in the formula. First of all, I said add the numbers in, that are in B9, the number in B9, to what is in D3. So the answer obviously at that stage in that bracket is 38. Divide that by what is in F3, number 2, which gives me the answer 19 and multiply that by 6 which gives me the overall answer 114. Similarly in this cell I'm going to say 
are there any brackets? Yes. B9 plus D3 divide by F3 and multiply the answer by H3. So the answer is 46. Now let's check the way that Excel handled that particular formula and I can do that by going to the formulas tab and in the formula auditing group I'll see that there is an evaluate formula command so when I click the evaluate formula command it enables me to evaluate this particular formula it will show the result of the underlined expression when I click evaluate and the most recent result appears italicized so let's evaluate the formula to see how Excel is handling that particular formula evaluate it says the sum in B9 is 34 the next one it's going to evaluate is D3 that gives me the answer 4 but it sees that there is a divide sign there so evaluate it says divide 4 by 2 that gives me an answer 2 so at this stage we're looking at the answer 30 of 34 plus 2 times H3 because it does the additions last evaluate H3 2 times 6 is 12 add 34 to 12 and the answer is 46 so that is how Excel evaluates a formula so you can evaluate any formula in your Excel spreadsheets by using that command in the formula auditing group it's particularly handy for seeing where you might have a mistake in a formula because you can see in the evaluation how it actually uh, finds mistakes uh, and uh, will uh, normally you'll know that when you see an error message in the cell which has the formula so remember you can evaluate a formula let's close that let's evaluate this formula it says evaluate B9 to it add D3 because it's looking in the bracket first D3 is 4 so it's now evaluating that 34 plus 4 is 38 divide by F3 it's underlining F3 as the next step divide that by 2 which is in F3 the answer is 19 multiplied by H3 which is 6 and the answer is 114 so that's how evaluate works and you'll notice that in this particular formula that we evaluated that it handled the internal brackets first so it said I want to look in D3 in this bracket here it looks at the inside brackets first okay so uh, that has shown you how Excel handles formulas in a particular order it's one of the most important learning situations in Excel I know it's basic but as if you're a learner or new to Excel it's very important that you understand how Excel handles these formulas and functions the word function finally is simply a pre-written formula like sum VLOOKUP if etc Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time, bye for now.